More than 20 persons are without a home tonight after a fire destroyed three wooden houses in Glen Street in Belize City sometime around 12.30 this morning. Only rubble, charred wood and warped zinc roofing remain. The families lost everything and fortunately, no one was injured in the blaze. The fire reportedly started from an abandoned wooden two-story house that once stood here that the homeless occupied. It is not clear whether the fire was accidental. But neighbors say they believe the occupants were destructive and intentionally set it. And once the flames got going, they were high. They started to spread next door to this house. Luckily, the family saw the fire and started to secure their property. Fred Usher Jr.'s quick action saved his family home. They sustained only scorched walls and some water damage. Our house was already caught on fire, so it took me, my brother, and a couple of friends. I want to thank them. Um, it was kind of, I was distraught because I never felt or saw my mom crying a while, so it took us about half an hour to out our side of the fire. We had to um, bust our pipeline, so because the firemen said they ran out of water, so they told us we had to stay there, but we took a risk, came in took down our pipe and out as much as we could. And so the fire started from the house. wooden house right beside you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. This house was unoccupied or were people living in here? Um, as far as I can tell, it was occupied by some crackheads. It was um, abandoned. So you feel like it's probably accidental, some accidental um, fire? I don't think so. Residents say that the fire trucks arrived on the scene more than 30 minutes later. By that time, the first house was engulfed in flames, and shortly after, the fire spread to two houses on the other side, burning rapidly through the old, mostly pine lumber homes. Justo Miranda and eight family members were inside their three-bedroom house when they saw the flames. Miranda had to run out and stand by to watch the house where he has lived for 17 years go up in flames. When my wife came out of the Ella tenía cinco minutos de salir del baño cuando ella viene y voltea a ver para la frente de la ventana. Entonces ella mira el juego. Entonces dice, estamos agarrando juego, dice, en la otra casa de lado, dice. Entonces dice, empieza a gritar ella y comenzamos a salir. Todo rápido porque no, no, no doy chance de sacar nada porque, porque ya el juego ya estaba encima de arriba, de la casa de arriba. Entonces si, si íbamos a intentar sacar algo, podíamos caerlos algún palo de arriba. Uh -huh. No puede sacar un valor de cuánto lo que, lo que tenía ahí, porque esto, casi todo lo acababa de comprar nuevo. Tenía lavadora, todo, casi todo nuevo. Sí. And in no time, the blaze from Miranda's house spread to this third building. It was a large apartment-style structure where several members of one family lived, more than 15 persons. They, too, were only able to save themselves and escape from the fire. Rutilio Villanueva and Anastasia Connerkey lived here in separate units with their families. Villanueva was sleeping when the fire broke out. Today, he is still assessing his losses. Connerkey didn't think the fire would reach her apartment. But it did, and she says about $10,000 worth of valuables went up in smoke. While we were sleeping, our neighbor, thank, thanks to the neighbor, then come wake up us and told us that fire. And when I came out, I opened my door, I saw a big flame and we couldn't do nothing. A value for what you lost? Uh, not yet, uh, not as yet, uh, not as yet, but we lost everything, up, uh, up, uh, every, everything, yes, ma'am. When I have not on everything gone, when I tell you gone, gone. The downstairs gone, the upstairs gone, the apartments gone. When the fire start, I come out and they tell me, fire, I see it looks small. So I said, well, they could control that. So I'm going back to my bed. When they grab me because the pan was start to burn, so it just started to blaze. It don't catch the next side. Then the pieces of fire with a drop. Don't they catch the back of a wee house. So I run out. Only thing where I could I'm get that me and my two picnic. The fire victims, as well as residents in the neighborhood, say that the firefighting failed them. They allege that the fire trucks were delayed and didn't have enough water to contain the inferno. And they believe that two of the houses didn't have to burn down. Really and truly, the fire department feel a lot because they take more than half an hour to get here. And when they get here, they reach here with a little bit of water. And because they could have control, they could have avoided the two houses to burn down. But they doesn't have sufficient water to control it, so... And then, finally, they take another hour to get another pump to the canal to get here, and then, by the time that the house, the boat house was on flame, they couldn't do, they couldn't, we couldn't save nothing. And 
They, but I blame the, the fire department on this, on this um, two hours burn down. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.